Pranji Stayers handicap, 0 to 80. And another small field. And what would traditionally have quite a healthy amount of numbers. But Devon Twinkle is up the top and even money favourite for T. Rogers. Lucky Rebecca, December Messer, Stella Brilliant. They're racing. Everyone gets a prize unless a horse pulls up. And occasionally there is a fall on the flat, but it's quite rare. But it does happen. That looks. Oh, we're getting jockey mode. New beauty. Something to break up this race. And lucky Rebecca leads from December Mesa. Then Devon Twinkle and Stella Brilliant. Two miles left. So it looks like this is, I think Lucky Rebecca is Martin's horse and it's back to his old silks. And it leads December Messer, Devon Twinkle and Stella Brilliant. So Devon Twinkle was the pre-race favourite. We'll see if it jumped favourite as well. Grandstand view. In fact, that wasn't even grandstand view, was it? And uh, left to go. Let's hope the race kit starts dropping some of these ratings down. Singapore is a wonderful city to visit and have a holiday in. It's hot, humid, but a really nice city. Haven't been to Cranji yet, but it's uh, on the bucket list and shouldn't be too far away for me to tick it off. So there's three furlongs left to go and lucky Rebecca says go. Stella Brilliant for Obi-Wan comes out of the pack. It's really the only challenger on Devon Twinkle and December Messer. It's still Lucky Rebecca though. At the one and a half. Still leading. Comes down to the furlong. Jockey's not working too hard. Now here comes Stella Brilliant. That'll have the last say in the race at the half furlong. It's finishing slowly. Maybe not enough though. And Lucky Rebecca wins. From Stella Brilliant, Devon Twinkle and December Mesa.
So Martin wins a race. Well done, Mart. Good to see you get a win. Stella Brilliant for Obi-Wan was second. Devon Twinkle for T. Rogers was third. And December Messer for James Shea, fourth. 